we were talking the other day about what Jimmy Garoppolo is worth in the trade. You said a second and a fourth, and I wrinkled my nose and said a fifth. So Peter King, uh, also a big fan of the show, was inspired by our topic and then went and said uh, mid-first round pick. Jimmy Garoppolo is what he's worth. Mid-first round pick. And I guess you wouldn't be that surprised, right? Um, I'm just freaking shocked. But, I mean, Peter King is a whole lot more connected than me. So what do you think of this? First. I I would be a little shocked. I think that there's a big perceptual difference between giving up a second and a mid-round pick versus giving up a, a first. I think you have to prepare yourself as an organization. You have to prepare yourself for the backlash that you may get from your fan base in paying that type of a price tag for a quarterback that's a bit polarizing. I do think that the national view of Jimmy Garoppolo is significantly more positive than the local view of Jimmy Garoppolo. The national uh, reporters don't have to deal with the emotional upset of consistent and inconsistent play. And so, uh, you know, it doesn't surprise me that they would have a slightly higher opinion, but I, I'd be shocked if a team gave up a first rounder for Jimmy Garoppolo. You'd have to be pretty desperate and get into a bidding war to get to that level in my book. Yeah, I think what's happening is a couple of things. Maybe the logic here is like, look, uh, a mid first round pick is Mac Jones, theoretically, right? Right. And Mac Jones is an average NFL quarterback with the potential to get better. Jimmy Garoppolo is sort of like an average NFL. I mean, they're right there in like the, you know, borderline good range, yep. which is which is a good place to start for a team that doesn't have a quarterback like that. So I guess if you're looking for a borderline good starter, because not every team has that, um, well, maybe this isn't the year to draft that guy. Like a lot of a lot of people are saying this draft is a little shaky. So yes. maybe the, the, the quarterback you get mid first round isn't as good as Jimmy Garoppolo. That's the argument. I can see that. But what I keep coming back to is it's not just Jimmy you're trading for. It's Jimmy and his contract. And it just seems really rich to give up a mid first round pick and then give him 27 million. It's, it's like an, it's like a multiplier in my yes. opinion. And so to me, in, unless the Niners pick up most of this money, they're, they're not going to get the pick. Like they're not going to get the pick. He's going to be, I don't know. I, I could be wrong though. I could be wrong. Yeah. Two things come to mind when you say that one is that you wonder what Mac Jones would have looked like on a team. That's not the new England Patriots with Bill Belichick at the helm, right? You assume that Belichick got the most out of him this year and, and he has looked good. And so that's fair that, that that's the comparison, but in a quarterback class that is looked at widely as as less talented than last year by a wide margin. I don't think you have that type of a, a caliber candidate available and so it just it just shines a brighter light on Jimmy Garoppolo and then when you compare the mentality of Jimmy Garoppolo and potentially the confidence a veteran player might have in bringing Jimmy in instead of trusting a rookie when you're trying to sign some key free agents when you're trying to excite your own free agents to sign a new deal Jimmy Garoppolo seems like a more promising face and name to bring to the franchise than a 50 50 shot on a rookie quarterback. Hey, you know, we're going to get into our consulting business in a minute. And if any team out there is asking my opinion, I would say I would strongly uh, recommend you do not trade for Jimmy Garoppolo under any circumstances, any amount of draft picks. But that's just me. And you know what? If if the Niners find a sucker, I mean, a, a team out there that wants to give up a mid first round pick for Jimmy, God love the 49ers. And salute to John Lynch and everyone in that organization for having the vision to pull this off that I didn't think they could do. So I would only uh, praise them if they could pull that off. And I'm hoping they do, not because I'm a Niner fan, but because, you know, draft time is a big moneymaker. And this would be the first year I've ever covered that they wouldn't have a first round pick. I'm a little nervous about that. So get that first round pick. Find a way to get it. And if it's Jimmy, great. Get it back. Get that. I want that. Dark. The dark Azriel says Debo is an all pro wide back. I asked him, I said, if you met someone who didn't know you and they asked you a position you play, what would you say? And he said, I'm a wide back, which I thought was a great answer. It's priceless. It's priceless. He's he's a really funny, like sarcastic guy. I like him. He's hella smart. Yeah, you good get, personality. Yeah, you get even a late first, you jump on it. Oh my God. Imagine turning it down. No, we need a mid first. For Jimmy, sorry. It, yeah, that, that that would be atrocious. It, it just it would surprise me. I do think the 49ers would have to eat some of that salary to get that first. I think it's going to be a contract extension in place between the new team and the uh, and the agent for Jimmy Garoppolo. So I think they'll spread that cap hit out. Eat PSJ salary training the Browns. Ba Baker equals trash. 
This is the second time I've heard someone say PSJ, and I still don't know what it is. What's PSJ? I have no idea what PSJ is. Um, if someone could explain what PSJ is, I'll come back to Scotty Martinez. I promise. I don't want to just take your $2, but I don't understand what PSJ is.